Having worked through this stepwise in an earlier example, we're now given a new reaction that looks like this, and we're given some data that were actually measured experimentally. It then asks us, what is the rate constant K? Please remember, once again, that the rate law for any chemical reaction is equal to K multiplied by the concentration of each component. I'll go ahead and call this component A and this component B. Raised to uh, the respective uh, exponents of M and N. Now, once again, if you have a multi-component uh, reaction where you've got three or more, then you would add them on with other letters for their exponents. O, P, Q, R, S, T, O, V, L, M, N, O. Yeah, you, you sort of get the idea. So, in order to determine what K is, we have to identify these exponents, M and N. How in the world do we do that? Well, we have to do them individually. Let's begin with component A. So I'm going to go ahead and write down my hypochlorite anion, which once again is the active ingredient in bleach. It has a lovely smell. What I'm going to begin doing is focusing on the experiments where component B's concentration was kept the same. So that's going to be experiment one and experiment two. And I'm going to see how did changing the concentration of this thing change the rate. I'm going to take the bigger of the two. In experiment two, the concentration was 3 times 10 to the negative third. In experiment one, it was changed to 1.5 times 10 to the negative third. Now I'm going to look at the relative rates. The rate, when I had the concentration higher here, was 2.72 times 10 to the negative fourth. And when I, when I uh, made, lowered the concentration, it went down to 1.36 times 10 to the negative fourth. I take this divided by that, I get 2. I take that number divided by that, I also get 2, I think, if I'm doing the math in my head correctly. So all I do is take this number and raise it to the M and set it equal to that number. What does M come out to be? M, of course, comes out to be 1. So 1 is the reaction rate order with respect to component A, which is the hypochlorite anion. I can now replace my M with 1. How do I determine what N is? I do the exact same process, except I do it for component B, the iodide. So I'm going to go ahead and erase this now. And we'll take a look at the iodide. <clears throat> iodide! Okay, concentrations uh, here for iodide. I'm going to focus once again on the experiments where the other component, A, were kept the same. That's going to be experiments 1 and 3. In experiment uh, 3, the iodide, con iodide concentration was 3.0 times 10 to the uh, negative 3. In experiment 1, it was decreased to 1.5 times 10 to the negative 3. So, the, what were the rates for uh, when those changes were made? Well, in experiment 3, the rate was 2.72 times 10 to the negative 4. In experiment 1, it was 1.36 times 10 to the negative 4. So, uh, if I take this divided by that, it comes out to be 2. If I take this divided by that, it comes out to be 2. So, now all I do is take this number, raise it to the nth power and set it equal to that number. What is n? n is 1. 1 is the reaction order for, uh, or with respect to component B, the iodide. So I can change this n up here to 1. Let's go ahead and erase this then and rewrite our rate law with all of this jazz thrown down. I've got rate being equal to k multiplied by the concentration of the hypochlorite raised to the 1th power. <laughs> That's probably not a word, but I like it. Uh, uh, multiplied by the concentration of iodide raised to the 1th power. It's asking me to solve for k. How do I do that? Well, I pick whichever of these experiments I want, and I just throw in the numbers into these holes here, here, and here, and solve for k. Uh, let's go ahead and do that with the uh, numbers from experiment 1. And in all honesty, it should work out that it doesn't matter which of these you pick, you should get the same answer. So if I take my, uh, I'm going to go ahead and pick experiment 1. I take my rate, which is 1.36 times 10 to the negative fourth molars per second. I set it equal to K. And I probably should show units so that when we're finally done, we end up getting the correct units for K. I set that equal to K multiplied by the concentration of hypochlorite in experiment 1, which is 1.5 times 10 to the negative third moles, or molar, sorry, uh, multiplied by the concentration of iodide component B, which is also 1.5 times 10 to the negative third molar. Now all I have to do is use algebra to solve for k by taking all of this stuff, moving it over here. I'll let you go ahead and do that on your own to see if you can figure out what k actually is.